and let go. Take a deep breath. Happiest are those that are able to notice and register and direct their state of consciousness, their state of being, independent from their circumstances. So check in with your vibration right now and see how much of your energy is invested in circumstance, and then let that go. Become free, free from circumstance, free from thought, free from cause and effect. That's really all it means to live a sober life, to live a renunciated life. It doesn't mean you have to withdraw from the world. It just means you have to not tie your well-being to circumstance, and then your spirit flies free, disconnected, feels infused with light, a brightness, an indestructibility, and it's just you and life, you and God, the denseness of circumstance does not bother you, in fact it doesn't even really appear to you most of the time, it doesn't even really seem like it's there. You're in your natural state. You're in your unconditional state. You're in your confidence. Your natural confidence. It's really hard to go into concern and worry and contraction if you don't see any circumstances. You don't see any reasons. You don't have these definitions. You become weightless. Natural. Organic. Like hopeless. Most of the time. Undistracted, clear on who you are. And again, why are you here? What's the core frequency that you wanted to bring forth into this creation? As an honor, as an expression, as a sign of gratitude to and for the infinite that you are. What are you here to bring forth? What's your unique flavor? Just rest into that. Have faith in that. Have confidence. Let it marinate. Let it emanate. Let it radiate. Let it levitate. And always know that there's not a single circumstance that has ever affected your vibration, your state of consciousness. No circumstance has the power to confuse. The only thing you'll ever feel the only thing that will ever confuse you is definitions that you place onto your circumstance. Those definitions are untrue. Those are misperceptions. Those are inaccurate. Those do not serve your journey. You will feel that distance. You will feel that difference as pain, as suffering, as hardship, as struggle, as effort. That's wanting to embark upon a spiritual journey. Which is so often a reaction to not feeling good. But if your definitions are very transparent, very clear, very true, very accurate, not distorted, you will find great transparency, clarity, joy, freedom, bliss. Because ecstasy is the nature of creation. It is what it is made out of. When you become transparent, you become ecstatic. You become transparent. More and more so, there's no end to this process. You become 
become more and more like the Creator is. Originally created in this image, but really, it's you that can create yourself in its image. It requires some clarity, it requires some adjustment. Naturally so. But then yes, you do become more and more like the Creator, because you are. You become more and more yourself. Just yourself. Just yourself. You will find everything in just yourself. The simplest, the simplest and the hardest thing to do is be yourself. Take a deep breath. And relax. It'll all come naturally. 